every component on the Robo drill is chosen to give maximum performance for the least energy. Anthony, here at Fanuc, and this is not the first time I've interviewed you about the Robo drill, but current economic times mm -hmm. means that this is a really good time to be listening what these machines can do, doesn't it? Absolutely. So explain why that is. More so than ever, customers are saying to us, to me, I need a small footprint, I need a quick machine, but I want it to be efficient. We're and when looking you say at efficiency, yeah, you're talking about energy. Energy. We're all doing it. We're all looking at our energy bills, all, you know, more than we ever have done. So this is a good time to, to invest in a robo drill, not that it hasn't been before, but mm -hmm. you can reduce those, those costs, those uh, energy costs, but no compromise? Are you still going to get the parts off as quick? I mean, do you have to slow the machine down to get, no. use less energy? What, is there, the, you know, where's the catch? If there isn't one. Every component on the robo drill is chosen to give maximum performance for the least energy. Okay, now just tell me about this particular machine. For those that haven't seen the Robo Drill, how fast are they? What are the real advantages to the machine other than the points that you mm -hmm. mentioned? So this particular model, it's the D21L, so L being the, the long bed as we call it, the largest of the, of, the, of, the, of the three models, and it's the B5 Advanced Plus. So this is the very latest, the highest spec machine that we do. It's a great machine. It's really quick, dynamic in its movement, so it's 54 meters a minute in, in all directions, really high acceleration. It's not just, when, I talk, when we talk about speed, it's also about not just the mechanical speed, the dynamics of the machine, it's about the intelligence, about how we control it. And the FANUC have that absolute control because everything is our own product. And is there not uh, a concern ever raised? I mean, you're, you're venturing in now to, to markets where people are replacing a VMC, a BT40 mm -hmm. VMC with one of these for the reasons that, that you mentioned. Yeah. But there are some differences, like for example, you've got less tools on here, so you've only got 21. Correct. Do, pe do people see that as a disadvantage and, and how do you overcome that as an objection? It's often driven by the job. So if you need you know, hundreds of tools, then perhaps this isn't the platform for you. But we've got several customers where actually they've got a requirement for maybe 30 or 40 tools. So they populate the carousel, typically you'd have 20, and then maybe have one measurement device in there. And then they'll have some kind of external tool management, whether that's just a guy tool loading by hand, or in many cases, they'll have a small robot that could be servicing the machine anyway. And that's also selecting from an external tool carousel that can slide it straight into the machine.